This video will show you the various tools in Visual Takeoff 5 to help you view and navigate your plans. Let's start with using the Dynamic Zoom tool. With this tool selected, I'll drag out a rectangle around the upper left portion of our plan. Visual Takeoff 5 will then zoom and pan to that location. There are other ways to zoom in Visual Takeoff 5 as well. You could click the Zoom In or Zoom Out buttons. The scroll wheel on your mouse will also adjust the zoom level. And you can use the Fit to Screen tool to zoom out to view the entire plan. Now that we've zoomed in enough to easily read the drawing, we may need to pan left and right or up and down. The Pan tool will allow us to grab the sheet with the mouse and drag to a new location. You can also use the scroll bars located to the right and bottom of the plan view. The scroll bars are useful when you're in the middle of a measurement as they don't require you to finish that measurement and change tools before panning. You could also use the navigation view to pan. To open this view, select navigation view under the view drop down menu. A new window will open that shows the entire plan we are currently working on. This window can be resized, it can be docked to the side of the main view, or you could even drag it onto another monitor if you like. Notice the rectangle around the upper left portion of the plan in this view. This represents the area we are currently viewing in the main view. In the navigation view, I'll click on the lower left portion of the plan. Notice that the main view pans to this new location. I'll now switch to page 1 using the tab control at the bottom of the main view. Page 1 includes the various symbols we may need to refer to during takeoff. Using the links view, we can view this section from other pages. For example, we may want to view these symbols from page 1 while working on page 6. To create a link view, select the rectangle view tool from the toolbar. Drag a rectangle around the section you are interested in. Right click anywhere on the plan and select detail link. When prompted, enter any description you like. I'll enter plumbing symbols and click OK. Notice that we now have a red box around this section and our description is displayed above it. Now we'll switch back to page 6. To view our plumbing symbols from page 1 while working on page 6, I'll right click on the plan. Then from the menu, I'll select plumbing symbols under the links option. A new window will open displaying the symbols section that we selected from page 1. Like the navigation view, this window can be resized, docked to the sides of the main view, or dragged to another monitor.